Please stay tuned for some very fascinating new clinical findings on very high fluence collagen cross-linking aided by Trekker. Hi, it's John Kanalopoulos from Athens, Greece, clinical professor of ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York. Uh, this is a very big day for us here today. Uh, we have the pleasure uh, to be working with the new Institute of Technology from Avidro. Our cross-linking work is uh, known through the last decade and it was only when Avidro came out with the KXL1 device uh, about five years ago that all the scientific work that we have done translated to easy everyday clinical practice. And we're talking about higher fluence collagen cross-linking in keratoconus and uh, post-LASIK ectasia and obviously LASIK extra, prophylactic CXL and routine LASIK cases and the latest uh, uh, constantly introduced uh, for uh, hyperopic LASIK extra. What we're seeing here today is the evolution. This is the KXL2 device. Uh, this is uh, not just a cross-linking device, as you will see, and I'll try briefly to go through the features. Uh, this is a monster, so to speak, of uh, collagen cross-linking. Uh, we have the ability, this is one of the patients we did yesterday, and you're seeing here uh, the actual myopic, quote-unquote, and I'm not uh, reading the wrong uh, words here. This is a myopic correction because uh, we and uh, the Avidra team have both shared the concept that creating significant cross-linking differentials within the cornea will have a refractive effect on the cornea. And this is coming to fruition with this device. So here we're seeing a super high fluence cross-linking uh, the magnitude of 45 milliwatts uh, in a six millimeter diameter. And we can adjust this diameter as you can see here, uh, enlarge it and make it smaller and bigger. This was a treatment time. We can enlarge the diameter of the treatment make it smaller, we can treat, as we will see later, a donut shape, which will have a steepening effect in the central cornea, thus a hyperopic treatment, or, and this is an obvious third thought, a deuteric uh, treatments uh, with this device. So obviously we have a fully customizable uh, touch screen as far as the uh, treatment time, the fluence that uh, will be delivered to the eye, uh, the uh, uh, parameters of the treatments, as well as whether the treatment will be pulsed or not. And there's another concept that came out from the Vidro. And also supplemental oxygen for the collagen cross-linking. Uh, we use all the different products from uh, Avidro Parasol, which is the um, quote-unquote abrasive uh, riboflavin used for transepithelial treatments. And a lot of treatments will be reporting our transepithelial in conjunction with uh, uh, Vibex Extra, which is the 0 0.32 milli uh, milligram per ml and also the Vibex Rapid, uh, Rapid that we use in cases that uh, deep film has been denuded. And all the cases that we studied uh, uh, with this initial clinical work with the KXL2, uh, the epithelial operation was done with the AX500 femtosecond laser by Alka. Both the uh, central PTKs as well as the donut shape PTK performed for uh, uh, the hyperopic treatments. Uh, so this is the device, the planning device. This is the actual application. Uh, module. Uh, this is an uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, release, as you can see here, to bring it uh, to the patient. It can fit under the uh, uh, eczema laser uh, apparatus, and uh, once you release these electromagnetic uh, locks, it locks into place. We have a nose camera that looks into the device going through the patient's head uh, and avoiding to bump the nose. We were actually seeing through this camera at the end of the room. And this camera here is um, an infrared camera that images the eye and also uh, gives us the ability to track the eye, uh, which obviously with all this uh, custom mobility, all the treatments is necessary. And uh, you'll see more of this coming from our center and other investigators in the future. Um, uh, the fluence obviously here can go even higher. We're going from 10 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts. And these are my initial clinical results. See the impressive left pre, right post and significant steepening on these hyperopic CXL. Video design and uh, uh, implementation team. Let's uh, let's look at, uh, let's try and design a treatment, a completely sure. custom treatment. So if we want to design an OD or an OS, it gives you the option to do so. You can also take a picture of the eye and later on, um, that image will be overlaid onto the grid. Okay, the picture is taken by the uh, module itself. Correct, the tracking. So yeah. you later lay the tracker of the eye, capture that picture, bring, bring it up here, and then go directly to the picture and, and create a customized uh, cross-linking pattern. Exactly. Amazing. All right.
So now here you have the option of choosing powers, okay. continuous or pulse, and okay. you can also vary the the amount of time it's on and off. That's great. Let's go. Let's say with forty five milliwatts, which would be the power uh, threshold we want to use with dramatic uh, shape changes in the cornea. So we'll go with this, and uh, what's the next step? And then we click this, and then we can add a shape now. Okay, so this way we can bring in, uh, let's say, a circle, or we can, uh, for instance, try this. Uh, and uh, so try and expand that. So let me do that again. So let's yeah. drag it, create okay. the arcs. Okay, so we could probably use these uh, for uh, the technique we described to uh, use very high fluids cross linking in uh, astigmatic keratotomy. And you can obviously with a tracker and being able to look at the aesthetic keratotomies, place it exactly at the area that you want to cross them. Exactly. And this would, this would be tremendous. And it just gives you the option of, a lot of rotating to line Perfect. up. Line up the axis. So with the appropriate markings on the corner, you'd be able to bring it directly into the spot. Mm -hmm. And you can also move this to different areas. Fantastic. Center. And this is where you change the diameter. And if you happen to want a bow tie, increase the thickness. All right. And uh, we tried this as well, and this will be uh, uh, placed on the uh, flat axis, uh, a uh, treatment to uh, treat astigmatism. And the preliminary results on this are very impressive as well. And up here, you can change the total energy, which thereby changes the time, and you can change the, the angle of the arc. Wow, well. fantastic. So with uh, topography in hand, you can probably customize this fully exactly to the uh, topography uh, an anomaly. Correct. And once you're done, all you have to do is hit the check mark and save it. Perfect. Perfect. Let, let's go back and see, uh, try and design a fully customizable treatment. Okay. Let's say uh, spots and areas that we can treat and some that we'll leave uh, untreated. So we'll go with the OS this time. And if we come here, uh, we can change different shapes. Right, let's pick this shape here and uh, lay this shape over here. So now I'm drawing a shape. Let's assume that we have a cornea that's extremely thin here and want to avoid treating the center because it's, it's, it's extremely thin and want to treat this area here. So we could potentially just have the machine treat this area with higher energy and then in, uh, overimpose a broader area of the cornea that will be treated with a different energy. That's correct. Fantastic. So here you can change the energy. So say you want uh, about a minute 30. Okay. Or one minute 34. Take that, and then you want to add another shape here. Let's right, let's see. see, we treat a broader area of the cornea. Can I enlarge this? Yes. Uh, you enlarge it through here. Okay, perfect. Right. So we could, in this treatment, treat the, this part of the cornea with a different energy, and this part of the cornea with a different energy. So total um, uh, UV energy delivered will be different, but tr done within the same treatment. That's correct. And the power will be the same, but you're just changing time for different energies. That's fantastic. Let's look at the hyperopic treatments that we did. Sure. I mean, I think we're looking at a new era in college and cross linking, leaving uh, the standard and well established uh, uh, treatment of uh, stabilization of the ectatic corneas and going now and utilizing the unique principles of college and cross linking in um, changing the refractive power of the cornea. Uh, so this here would be a, a donut treatment uh, with uh, inner diameter of, uh, let's look at the data here, inner diameter of uh, six, uh, millimeters. 6 millimeters and outer diameter of 9 millimeters. And the way we address this is we used as a epithelial scrape a mock hyperopic treatment of uh, 50 microns in thickness that came up to about 3.25 adapters with the exact same configuration centered at the uh, uh, patient's pupil. So once we remove the epithelium, we denuded the epithelium in that area, and we showing you work on that as well. We soaked with uh, the uh, Vibex uh, Rapid uh, for 10 minutes, and once the uh, riboflavin uh, became available within the denuded cornea only, we used the uh, topo tract device onto the eye to, uh, to uh, place this very, very highly customizable application. Fantastic. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found this presentation interesting. This is uh, John Kenlopoulos signing out from Athens. And again, some clinical data on myopic CXL transepithelial treatments. 
See how impressive the change is here. This is a hyperopic treatment. This is another hyperopic treatment. And now going into a cylindrical treatment, you can see on the end on the right, the actual cylindrical correction applied and the effect. This is first day anterior segment OCT, no epithelial defect. You can see the depth of the 6L effect here. I thank you very much for your attention.